Hey guys, how's it going? Sherman here with uh, Gardening for Fun. Just want to do a quick update. Remember I had the uh, the kale and all that stuff going in the indoor setup? You know, the cracky method. Actually, the broccoli wasn't. It was on air stones. And I had a kale on air stones and one that wasn't. But anyways, I told my story about the aphids and everything. So what I did was I come out here, made a few setups here to put it in. The lettuce... Well, you can see how great it's doing. Um, and that's all these are under less than optimal, optimal conditions. <laughs> Let me explain. Um, first of all, these ones right here, what happened was, is when I first put it in, the net cups weren't quite touching the nutrients. So, and the roots hadn't come through the bottom. So, or actually they had had, excuse me, but when I pulled them out of the thing and cleaned them off to get all the aphids off, I put them in the new net cups, they had lost some of the roots that were hanging low. So anyways, that's what happened there. Secondly, we've been getting a tremendous amount of rain, you know? So, one thing about it, if you're going to do hydroponics, it's kind of like you know, hydroponics and water doesn't mix. Just a little joke there. My humor is not that great, I guess. But anyways, when you get out here and you got your nutrients just right and it gets rained and the buckets get flooded, everything got flooded. The cabbage was flooded. Well, not the cabbage, excuse me, the broccoli. That's why you see the one not doing so well there. Um, so what I just did was, the lettuce actually didn't mind it. It got flooded, because I remember the nutrients were almost empty. I was going to have to re-up, and then it got filled all the way up with water. I just checked the uh, the PPMs on that. Right there was about 200. These ones were here were about 700. So what I did was, I took out some of the 200 water. I know this ain't scientific or nothing, just what I did. So don't mix up no more nutrients in case we get a bunch more rain until I can make a covering. And that's what I plan on doing is setting up like these benches here. You see, low to the ground for some of this cracky growing and just uh, making a nice little, not a greenhouse, but some, a little cover, a little lean-to or something to cover them up so they don't get all the rain in it. That's for all my hydroponics. Last summer when I was growing the hydro stuff, um, had a lot of problems with the same thing as well. So this year I'm gonna do a lot better, hopefully. But sometimes I get the cart above the ho front of the horse, get in a hurry, just want to get something going. And so that's what happened here. But anyways, I just took out some of the water out of the broccoli there, so it's actually should be getting a good air to nutrient ratio as long as we don't get a ton more rain. And we'll see how it grows. Okay? Quick update there, let's let you guys know. So that's what happened to the indoor experiment. It's outdoors now. Everything's doing, you know, decent considering. All right, guys. Hey, I appreciate it. Go ahead, and if you like to see, go ahead and subscribe. Leave me your comments, questions, dislikes, likes, whatever, in the bottom below. Thanks a lot, and appreciate you guys watching. Have a great day.